evening. I'm going to be reading now from Jeremiah chapter 24. It's not too many verses this evening. I think it's uh, probably one to about ten. And it's got a heading, The Two Baskets of Figs. Yahweh gave me a vision set out in front of the temple of Yahweh the two baskets of figs. This was after Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had led Jeconiah, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, away into exile from Jerusalem with the chief men of Judah, the blacksmiths and metal workers and had taken them to Babylon. One basket contained excellent figs, like those that ripened first. The other contained very bad figs, so bad they were uneatable. Yahweh said to me, What do you see, Jeremiah? Figs, I answered. The good ones, excellent. The bad ones, very bad. So bad as to be uneatable. Then the word of Yahweh was addressed to me. Yahweh, the God of Israel, says this. As these figs are good, so I mean to concern myself with the welfare of the exiles of Judah, whom I have sent from this place to the country of the Chaldeans. My eyes will watch over them for their good, to bring them back to this country, to build them up and not to break them down, to plant them and not to uproot them. I shall give them a heart to acknowledge that I am Yahweh God. They will be my people and I shall be their God, for they will return to me with all their heart. As for the bad figs, the figs so bad as to be uneatable, yes, Yahweh God says this, that is how I shall treat Zedekiah, king of Judah, his chief men, and what is left of Jerusalem. Those who remain in this country and those living in Egypt. I shall make them an object of horror, a disaster to all the kingdoms of the earth, a thing of shame, a byword, a laughing stop, a curse. Wherever I shall drive them, sword, famine, and plague I shall send against them until they have vanished from the soil I gave to them and to their ancestors. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay, thank goodness that was short. <laughs> it won't be so bad when it went short when they go on and on sort of, oh, okay, God bless you all, have a holy weekend.